So the body says no. Yeah. The, and the soul said no. The soul said no. That's what I want to uh, get to. Yeah. Say more. Yeah. I wanted to, to live my heart and soul's desires, and I wasn't doing it. My heart and soul's desire wasn't to be burned out. It wasn't be to, be to be depleted. It wasn't to be a man. It wasn't, you know, to be like a man. I just wanted so much to have something that I knew other women had. And I, I didn't know what it was. Hmm. You know, I had to try to figure it out. Um, but I, I knew other women had it. So it has to be attainable. Hmm. You know, so I went to research on that. That's and I was you. single at the time, too. So there was more research going on with the dating and being over 40. And I started talking about it and researching it with women there. I'm going through the exact same thing. Hmm. And so then I started interviewing women, like, what really makes you happy? What makes you really feel fulfilled? And the most interesting answers came what are the what are the answers you're like what are your hearts and souls <laughs> desires <laughs> our heart and souls desires are truly what makes us the happiest mm-hmm. and makes us the most fulfilled and when we're, when we're doing that mm-hmm. we're ecstatic mm-hmm. you know we're in our feminine energy and and we're you know making a difference for whoever it is that we want to make a difference for not doing something as a task sure. what's that look like or for a you? checklist what's that look like for you oh well for me you know, making a difference in the world, inspiring the human spirit. But I really want to help women discover their feminine fulfillment and mm-hmm. living their hearts and souls' desires. And that takes courage to do that. God, yes. 